Sports. Sports. Guys, welcome back to another video. And uh, in this video, let's continue from where we left off in our previous video, guys. In our previous video, we talked about uh, authentication, Firebase authentication using the Facebook authentication provider for your Flutter applications, guys. In this video, let's talk about Twitter. Okay, we'll use the Twitter authentication provider and the Firebo Firebase authentication system to provide a cool authentication, a cool way of authenticating. I mean authentication uh, in your Flutter applications. So uh, so far we have a couple of three buttons, right? Login, login with Facebook, and login with Google. Uh, let's go. Twitter is pretty much easy compared to the other two guys. There will be something called my apps. Yeah, apps. Now uh, I have already I already have a Flutter Fire Auth application here, but if you if you wanted to create an application just click on create an app and they will just provide you a form you just need to fill this form there is nothing uh, fancy in this so I, I thought you could do this by yourself right at least in facebook authentication we needed to pro, uh, you know copy paste the package name or activity name and then you need to you also needed to paste uh, some of the code given there facebook id and all those back into the, your android manifest.xml and all that in Twitter, nothing like that. You just need to fill out this form. That's it for creating a new application, right? Do this by yourself. Uh, once you fill out that form, you will get an app uh, new application. Just click on that application. You will see three tabs like this. Uh, get into keys and tokens. Okay, you will get a API key and an API secret uh, key. These two keys are the uh, essential ones. Now get back into your Flutter application, get into pubspec.yaml file. Uh, here you need to add one more Flutter uh, Twitter login. Okay, add this plugin. It will automatically get that uh, thing for you. Now let's go ahead and import that. Twitter provider import package Twitter, sorry, Flutter, Twitter, login, Flutter, Twitter, login, dot, dot. Cool, right? Uh, then we need to create an object for that as well. But in this case, when we create an object, we need to provide the tokens as well. Just watch. Uh, this is where we think Twitter sign in where Twitter login equals new Twitter login and uh, here you just need to give the consumer oh, okay I'll move this to the next line maybe consumer key Consumer key is the one that we'll, we'll be getting from here. This is the key. And we need one, one more consumer secret. This is the one that will be this one. Copy this as well. Paste it here. Okay. We'll be making use of this Twitter login variable uh, to do the login. I'll copy this button once again. Here we just need to give login with Twitter and uh, inside this uh, we'll remove this completely and we need to make use of that variable Twitter what was that Twitter login Twitter login dot authorize uh, dot then we'll be receiving one result as usual dot catch error handle this print error here inside this you need to make use of this res this result will contain a session and a status i'll simply switch the status once again uh, result dot status okay case uh, 
Twitter login status dot logged in. Uh, in case the user is logged in, we need to uh, fire base auth dot instance dot uh, sign in with Twitter. Sign in with Twitter. Uh, here we need to provide the keys, guys. Auth token, I think. Yeah, auth token. Result dot session dot uh, token token and one more auth token secret result dot session dot uh, secret okay these two we need to provide and uh, then as usual signed in user okay and here i'll simply give dot catch error handle the error as well For here, I need to give uh, signed in as, but I won't give that. I'll simply give a navigation navigator dot off context dot push replacement named uh, push replacement named what was that home page? Not home page, sorry. Uh, yeah, home page, obviously. Home page. Okay, so once the auth user is signed in, it will automatically take him to the dashboard page. We need to handle the other scenarios as well, guys. I didn't mention that even for Facebook. I didn't mention that. I think this is for the uh, logged in case, right? For case Twitter login status cancelled by user uh, print uh, cancelled by you break break case twitter login status dot uh, error print uh, error cool right Similarly, we can do this for Facebook login as well. I didn't. I think I didn't do that. For Facebook as well, we need to do Facebook login status dot uh, cancel by user and Facebook login status dot error. We can even print what's that error here as well. But anyway, let's not <laughs> dive deep and then get confused. Uh, this is for Twitter login. Let's see if this works. That's it. Th that's all you need to do. You know, you don't need to play around with the manifest dot XML or a Gradle file or anything like that. Simply save this and let's run it on our application and see uh, how this performs. So I'll run this now. Now before we run our application, we need to enable Twitter in the sign-in method uh, provider. So uh, I have pasted the API key and API. There's nothing fancy in this. These two keys I have pasted here. And then this callback URL I have simply added to my, already added to my application as you can see here. So that's it guys, uh, now let's try, click on save and let's try uh, running the app on our device. Wow, uh, our application, the buttons are not, uh, I mean, it looks absurd, right? Anyway, the focus of this video is to uh, show how to use Twitter as an authentication provider for your Firebase, I mean, Flutter applications that use the Firebase authentication system. So I'll just tap on login with Twitter wow it asks for my permission right connect your account to twitter and then uh, it shows my twitter handle and then i'll simply tap on connect it's authenticating let's see if it wow it took us to the uh, dashboard page right our uh, page that we are supposed to show whenever the user successfully logs in so in this case we have successfully logged in let's just check in users and see if our yeah, we have the Twitter user as well here, right? So yeah, guys, uh, this is what I wanted to show you guys today. Uh, now we have seen the how we have seen how to use Twitter as an authentication provider for your Flutter applications that use the Firebase authentication system as well. Uh, now that we have uh, done social authentication and the email and password authentication, let's move on to more cool stuff. We'll see how to do a simple CRUD using Firestore in our next video, and from there on, let's see 
how to uh, build a complete user management for your application uh, in your Flutter application. I mean, for your application using the uh, Firebase uh, Firestore collections. Uh, so yeah, subscribe guys. That's what I meant to say here. Subscribe uh, to watch all these cool stuff that I have planned for you guys. Hit like on this video if you really like this video uh, and click on the notifications button after you are subscribed to ensure that you don't miss any of my uploads. So uh, yeah guys, I'll uh, talk to you guys in my next video then. Bye.